I've got worms. Good morning, my beautiful friend. All right, so today I want to talk about the 10 short video content ideas that I think your business or your personal brand or whatever you want to do could really benefit from. So let's look at those 10. Now you can see all my fingers. Okay, so the first video that I recommend you create is customer testimonials. They are so awesome if you can get your customer to talk about the transformation they felt when working with you, your business, or whatever you want them to talk about. So customer testimonials, boom, they're awesome. So you can also do an about us video. Now I don't mean like, talk about what's on your company page. Like genuinely, you as a person, what do you like to do? Um, and how did that inspire you to go and start your current business? Okay, so the next content ideas are to share your process. Something that may seem boring to you is actually very interesting for other people. I've seen it work really well with the arts. And the second thing in this little group is to share behind the scenes. Don't be afraid to share a little bit of the not so glamorous parts of your job. It makes you relatable. And I've had a lot of success when I've shared stuff that, uh, that have gone a little bit wrong. So there we are, I'm gonna go grab a coffee now. Let's go do that, B-roll, now. All right, so another thing you can do is share a secret, Brett, what is the one secret to making awesome coffee? For me, it has to be a clean machine. You have a dirty machine, you got some dirty coffees coming out. Value right there. Also, go check out Incognito. Cafe. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I've got my coffee. Um, so the last thing that I think is completely underutilized and people are scared of it when producing video content is asking for help. Now I don't mean ask for help in the primary area that you're meant to be an expert, but ask for help about other things, you know, ask about software advice, ask about how your audience would overcome a problem that you're having. So yeah, there's always options to ask for help and people are for some reason scared to do it. Some of the best interaction I've got is when I've asked for help. So two more for you, a day in the life goes down really well in my experience and it's really well search engine optimized for Google and YouTube and that sort of stuff. So that really works. And the second one is an expert Q&A where you invite other experts from your industry to give advice on something they specialize in. It helps show you're part of a community and that you're there to help them even if it's not you flogging your own services. All right, I'm gonna put my worm farm up. Exciting. All right, so the last two that I'll mention is I've uh, also seen people do event summaries and I've done one for the Adelaide Space Forum a while ago. Um, and the final thing is a thank you. So thank you. Um, a thank you has to be heartfelt though. You can't just uh, say thank you for no reason. You have to have a genuine sort of authentic reason to be thanking your customers, clients or whatever. I'm gonna sneeze. <coughs> thank you. So yeah, look, make sure all of these, all 10 options come from an authentic, a real place. Do all those things, but don't sell. Content isn't about selling, it's about building relationships. You've got your 10 content things now go and make them thank you all right that is the end of the day let me know in the comments what would you add what have you seen a great number of engagements and success with uh what topics what short video content ideas do you have let me know in the comments all right remember you got this you can get all my past videos on my youtube channel and i hope you have a lovely weekend i shall speak to you on monday get in my beard